You have written that you are a great leader. I mean, you have kind of some leadership skills. Yes, ma'am. Which leader are you inspired by? Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening. Please take a seat. Thank you, ma'am. So you're Nitin. Yes, ma'am. Nitin, please tell us something about yourself. But I want to know some things off the resume. Sure, ma'am. I come from Bania family, and coming from Bania culture, my hard work is the key to success of my experience that I have gained in school, colleges, or workplace. Also, the family culture taught me. how to manage my money so i try to uh, instill that thing to fulfill my financial goal be it buying something or contributing to donating some body and all in the college time i used to play sports to compensate my study and have a chill place in that i made some victories around the india you can say because i presented in jaipur my college in kurukshetra also So that is how Nitin is today. That was saying. You said you are from a Bania family. Yes, ma'am. How important is money to make life work? I mean, uh, is it actually money that makes the world go round, or is it something else? From my perspective, money is not everything, but it is most of the things. Like people say, money can't buy happiness, but it did have some uh, have some financial support, so you can fulfill your goals. people who are from deprived society are not able to fund their education so mm-hmm. that can be a broad perspective for their success in their career maybe they are talented maybe they are very much in do sports but the financial capability of the family or the resources they should need so money for them is a very good thing for a rich class society it can be a thing to have leisure in their life or to go for trips and date out so they have some specific value for money but for the society there is different part of it. and for me it's not everything but it's most of the thing it's important okay yeah. how, how mb is really your long term goals so my long term goal is to have a venture of myself after networking with people after having business acumen and going with the tech background that i already have i want to pursue i want to complement my technical skills with the business skill that i have so my mba will serve me with the management education that i would be requiring to run my own business or venture in my long term no so you mean to say that people who are not mbas cannot run their own business no ma'am uh, this is not my inference that people who don't have mba don't run business my relatives are not mbas to be uh-huh. frank but they are running a good business so point is the exposure that the networking that mba college or the mba school will give me that will add on to my business failures that i may suffer i may suffer after an mba also that's not a guarantee that i will be successful after an mba but it will give me a support system on which i can lay down my foundation to excel in my uh, long term goals which specialization you want to do in mba sir specialization to be specific i had not thought of it i just want to explore the option because coming from a technical background i don't have any much info about it so my personal would be because in the uh, in the samsung where i worked for i saw pm role product manager role because my manager was a product manager and under him i did a project of feature phone project python project so that is i think uh, can be a lookout in my b school but i am open to uh, other roles also like finance and marketing or hr tell me more about this python project i uh, happen to read that you won some sort of recognition for it as well just briefest briefly run us through what this project was and what was your con- specific contribution to it sure sir uh, the python and idea project was a project based on feature phone the phones that have keypad phones so there is a keypad phone was in the market in 2020 that was having 8 mb rom so for 8 mb rom it is very uh, code base was very good but uh, samsung want to shift to 4 mb rom to minimize that size uh, we have to alter the code so for altering the code i was responsible for the settings app there is a setting that that is was under my vision and my senior was the head of the settings app so we did uh, tweaking in the codes we remove the extra part we remove the features 
we incorporated some features that were not in the other phones so that to work on the code base so that was my contribution is this uh, project still live at samsung are they still using it in their phones so uh, the project duration was from april 2021 to december 2021 and it has a pr release in december 2021 so people in the market who will buy a new phone of samsung guru you can say he will have a 4 mb device with him so it is live in the market this is samsung s21 fe Yes. I purchased it three months ago. Yes, Does sir. it have this Python feature? Sir, that is keypad phones. This is smart. Okay, this is a so, smartphone. Yeah. Okay. So why did you leave your job in May 2022? You seem to be doing well there. Yes, sir. Actually, I don't want to leave my job. I was performing well, and I I was expecting a promotion after consulting the manager. But there was a family issue that held me back. Uh, there is uh, my my grandmother was diagnosed with a cancer. so after operated two times so my father was in deep trouble to handle his own job or to handle the personal life so i took this hard and independent decision to go for an extra mile and hold my career goals and hold my job for my grandmother's health so you looked after your grandmother yes sir i am a full uh, full time caretaker for my grandmother could you tell me which specific cancer she contracted so she has had the cancer in the kidney first of all so we operated in march 2020 and she got her kidney out so we were satisfied that the cancer will not flare it out but now it is expanding to her collarbone so now she had operated in june 2021 so she had now taken out the the doctor took out the collarbone and she has a steel plate on that so which hospitals were these two operations conducted So in the first, the first operation took place in the Subdarjung Hospital. That was opposite to Ames because people don't know much about Subdarjung, but the people know about Ames. And the second was in the Fortis Noida, near my office only, sector sixty-two. Okay, my well wishes for your grandmother's recovery. Thank you, sir. What are your weaknesses? I'm sure you have some or the other weakness. Yes, ma'am. So, like, uh, I mean, over here you've written something like uh, not attending to details and time management. Yes. So when you say time management, do you procrastinate or you become panicky or what exactly is it? Uh, my inference is that I <coughs> took lot of things in consideration, and during my school time or college time, I used to participate in lot of activities. So by that time, I used to forget some deadline of my assignments or my college assignments, or I had the college assignment but I have to fulfill some career, uh, some sports uh, authority or some sports attendance. so that i was very bad at thing but i tried to improve by making a calendar of it i used the calendar in my school uh, and college uh, sorry in the not in the school in the college premises to mark my important target how far have you been able to overcome your weakness ma'am i think so like now also i had many calls on the uh, according to my cat percentile and there are forms are flooded all over like there is deadline for some colleges right now so i had been managing it quite well according to me and i am successfully completing all the college from two days prior to it you score 100 out of 100 in last year that was yes sir can you draw me the graph of xy equal to 1 uh, sir can you repeat this uh, graph of xy is equal to 1 xy is equal to 1 Uh, so sir, uh, x y is equal to one. So we can take x in the denominator. So y is equal to one by x. And domain of x can't be zero. X can't be zero because then it will become in undefined. And as soon as the x values is greater than one, one by x would be small. Uh, one by x would be smaller than one. So y value will rotate to zero and one only here. Yeah. And for the negative values, it will rotate to minus one only. Which is the highest recognition that one can get in the field of mathematics? in terms of award or achievement so i think so it's the fields medal mm -hmm. that uh, is the most uh, appreciated uh, achievement in the mathematics who won that who was the last recipient of field medal uh, sorry sir i am not recalling that person. why is there no nobel prize for mathematics don't you think mathematicians contribute greatly to the well being and the growth of society yes sir they do uh, mathematics had been an integral part of the invention and why why no nobel prize for maths so i don't have any pinpoint of it but i will surely search about it after interview you have written that you are a great leader i mean you have kind of some leadership skills yes ma'am which leader are you inspired by any particular person in mind like there must be somebody whose leadership skills inspire you and you would want to become like him 
who exactly anybody uh, to be uh, to be uh, like honest uh, i don't have any uh, public figure in my mind of leadership skill okay. i look out to my father my father had a business in my early school days but due to some failure we he shifted to job so, so what what are some good leadership skills according to you how should a leader be the first the first leader should be the uh, leader the first quality leader should be it should have a vision if the person don't know what i have to achieve what i have to do he can't create a road map of it second thing if at he has created a road map the planning of it he needs to motivate his team without motivating because there are some tasks that can be achieved solely but there are many tasks that needs a team work so motivating a team is a very big thing that a leader should have third thing he should know how to manage the time because as i had been managing time i know what's the precious amount time takes so if we are planning on some meetups and all it should happen instantly or it should happen with the time it can be a slack of 1 2 hours but it should not go for the day so i love your answer that was very well said thank good. you good but i have a little bit of issue with your answer you mentioned that a leader should be visionary you should have a vision yes ma'am you mentioned sorry, that sorry. you don't have any specialization in mind right you also told us that in terms of long term vision you have you want to start a venture but you don't seem to no, have much clarity on what kind of venture you would begin with so i want to back to differ on that point uh, i had some uh, domains or some specific that i want to pursue in my venture like uh, it can be a shop okay so that my actually my father had a shop so i had want to run a business that all the second thing is uh, my maternal uncle is running a factory so i want to uh, he is running a local factory because in the punjab only so i want to expand his business to delhi delhi ncr because i know the opportunity delhi ncr provides to the workplace to the customer it it can help so i can do that thing after mba uh, just in the five qualities why you should be selected okay sir so the first quality i think i am have leadership skills and i have a proven track record of it in my school and colleges and the workplace also second thing is i give time to people like i give time to people so it gives me a team player chance i am a leader but i don't compromise on my <coughs> teamwork spirit that i am leader and i would dictate of it i don't so teamwork is the main thing that i learned in my college and the experience third thing i would say i am not good in public speaking but i try to improve it so the thing that i try to improvise myself i may have some weaknesses but i try to improvise that is my strength that i am collecting third thing is a uh, fourth i so sorry uh, i have my pardon uh, the fourth thing i would li- like to say that i have the vision the vision of like because of the leadership skills i have a vision although there are similar thing we can say but vision is something that you can think like i had taken initiatives in my colleges i had founded a chess club and ran that for a one year although due to pandemic it got shut down and people are back to square one but i let the thing so thank you so you this, mentioned you had a chess club can you tell me what castling is yes sir uh, uh, the castling is a move that is a one one move previously previously it was a two move uh, two move but it was changed international chess so if you are king and rook uh, king is not in a check and king and rook squares are blank like bishop and knight is not there and the squares that king will move either on the king side or the queen side and it should not have a check on that squares also so you can do a castling so king goes two squares right to it in the king side and two square left to the queen side i'll give you a situation uh, and i want you to tell me how would you go about dealing with that problem that situation sure, there sir. are seven people marooned on an island okay you are not one of them but there are seven other people however only six of them can be brought back one of them will have to be left there permanently to eventually starve and die yes sir how would you choose that one person so i need uh, more info about the seven people in the uh, stuck of island mm-hmm. the second thing would be i want to see what are their intentions about it what they will do after life they like, uh, saving a life is a big deal for anyone mm-hmm. like if you are saving a life it should contribute to society in ethical way let me tell you who those seven people are sure, there sir. is one 60 year old nuclear scientist yes sir there is one 11 or 11 year old girl yes sir there is one 30 year old cancer patient yes sir there is uh, there are two of them uh, there is a newly married couple yes sir okay 
both in their early 20s yes sir so these are the five then the sixth one is an ex retired army is a retired army officer okay and the seventh one is a middle aged nurse so i would go like i would save six of people and will leave this 160 year old nuclear scientist mm-hmm. reason of my choosing 160 year old nuclear scientist is although people need advancement in tech and technology or science but we don't want to have a society where nuclear bombs are planted or we have a nuclear capability we don't think nuclear uh, scientist or nuclear energy is the only application of that is in nuclear bomb don't you think there can be peaceful usages of nuclear energy sir so there can be but as human resources in the current scenario people are using it wrong unethical way only people are threatening other countries mm-hmm. to give them supplies of uh, something like it can be weaponry it can be a uh, mass communication but what if this 60 year old nuclear scientist is actually working on a project which through nuclear energy will be able to give clean energy to lakhs of indian villages and what if he is the head of that project acha since you talked about nuclear energy and you were talking about nuclear scientists and all where does india test its nuclear bombs so or where did it do it in the past uh, i recall pokhran <laughs> range where apj abdul kalam led the <laughs> project and we tested in i think so 98 uh, if i recall it uh, correctly okay cool i have got something for you please take up your pencil and just write down three points uh the first one is penguins flies f l i e s that's the first sentence penguins flies the second one is a penguin fly and the third one is penguins fly which of the three is correct it's a very simple thing i think the third one is correct penguins fly okay are you sure about it yes ma'am so what kind of analysis did you do i mean you checked it grammatically or logically or how did you check it I think so. It's a plural. Uh, penguins are plural thing. Uh-huh. So we should have the verb. The verb is fly here. Okay. It should be singular verb. So I take that in mind and choose the third option. But did I specify that you have to look at it grammatically? I think so. That is why. Okay. That I didn't no catch problem. Up. Sorry. That's okay. No problem. Uh, could you list me five technical differences between C and C plus plus? Sir, C is a primitive language, and C plus plus was advanced uh, from C. In C we have printf scanf but in C uh, C++ we have C in C out due to this C is little little fast than C++ and in C we, we it is near to assembly language it is near to machine and in C++ we in the C we don't have a uh, destructor but in C++ we have destructors i think so that's five things. okay you uh, seem to have played t- table tennis as well could yes. you could you uh, specify what is the dimension of an international table tennis table So I said I treat it as a hobby and don't watch it online or in on the t- television. Mm-hmm. So I I'm not recall about the specifications of the table tennis. Please take a candy, and uh, you may even have a sip of glass of water if you so would like. Thank you, sir. Before you go, tell us: Did you do well today, or did you fumble a lot? Or I mean, if if I ask you to rate yourself on a scale of zero to ten, yes, ma'am. How would you rate yourself? I would take the chance to elaborate my interview today's interview on some parameters. The first would be personal HR questions. So I think I did well on that thing. Second thing I would be on the uh, current affairs of GK. I also think I did above average according to me. Third thing would be my work experience details. I had some logic about my wordings and I did well. The fourth thing I think the situation that sir gave me about the escaping some people and the questions of the mathematical and the english i think i had some less knowledge about them so i would rate something below but the problem is i don't have the weightage of everything that's okay so I, anything that you would like to ask us before you go how was your day today ma'am and sir it was pretty good especially because you came for the interview so we really liked it thank you ma'am it's okay. pleasure to meet you guys thank you so much that's all from our end thank you ma'am thank you sir So here was an impressive interview a good candidate with ready answers and delivering it in a way that the panel expects nonetheless it is our job to suggest scope for improvement and in that with that intentions only 
uh, one thing that this candidate could improve on is his gesticulation. So while the candidate was very expressive and very nicely audible, he, he did not use any of his hand movements. So as a candidate tried to gesticulate, it, it, it helps express your thoughts better. Also, when you are faced with a question that you do not have a ready answer, eh? these could be situational questions, ethical dilemmas, ask for time. You can always ask the panel, sir, can I take 10, 15 seconds and uh, arrange, I mean, sort your thoughts in your, in your mind and then come up with an answer. Um, if in any question you ever feel that your some some of your assumptions were unfounded, it is absolutely right to take a U-turn. For example, if you think that nuclear scientists should be included in the light of the new information given, then you can always change your answer, supporting your in it with reason. There is absolutely nothing wrong in it. And if you ever do not have the answer to a question, the best answer is to accept that you do not know the answer. Don't try to defend your not knowing an answer. Otherwise, a very good interview. So, uh, here was a candidate who really bowled us over. We loved his answers. Why? Because he had crispness. His voice was very clear. And the best thing was he was able to maintain good eye contact. Now, besides this, I would also like to mention this, that he, when, when he was answering, he was structuring it very well. That is something that you all should remember that if you don't have that great fluency, if you don't know, you know, like if you start speaking and if you tend to get lost somewhere, ki main kaha thi aur mujhe kaha kya bolna tha, the hack over here is to just break it down into points. So like in two or three questions, this is exactly what he did. He came up with points. Point one, point two, point three. Try that in your interviews, guys. And trust me, you will crack it. So I personally like this interview. Uh, as the ma'am told, there were a lot of positive things that students should be learning from this interview. Uh, the answer were very structured, uh, except the one point that I was not satisfied with the answer to the specialization, MBA specialization. So you are going to spend next two years of your life for something. You need to know why you are going there and what is your specialization. You need to know what are the different job profiles you will be getting in marketing, finance, operation, the companies that you would be working for. This is a basic knowledge that you are supposed to have before you go before you go for MBA interviews and it should be linked to the skills that you have and the current skills that you are having right now how they are connected with what you are going to do next in your career you have to establish a connect there and uh, panelists are looking for this and if you are not aware of MBA specialization and you will be now searching for it that's not a right answer this answer should have been better there thank you Thank you.